Hey guys, welcome back to the channel Chicken Game here, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a part that changes your jump power. So you can, if you touch the part, then you're able to jump even higher. All right, so let's get straight into the video. Right, so I have two parts here. This one here is going to give them the extra jump power, and then this one's going to give them the normal jump power. All right, so you c so to get these parts, you just need to click on this part up here. Then I'll insert a part, and I also anchored these parts so they're going to stay in the same position. And I made them red, and I scaled them like this. You can even add an outline onto these parts, which is what I did in the last video. Alright, so to change the jump power, you need to actually add a script. Make sure it's a server script and not local script because that won't work. So add a script inside this part and then just, just copy everything that I'm going to type. Alright, so it's going to be a time lapse as usual in all my scripting videos. So make sure you just uh, follow, follow along and type in everything that I do, even all the capital letters because if you type something capitalized. If you type something with a capital letter that I haven't, then it'll probably not work. So make sure you type everything word for word and get all the capitalization correct. Alright, so let's get straight into the time lapse. Alright, so here I said humanoid your jump power equals 100, so the default is 50, so I just made them go double, so you can make them go like super high, like 300 or something, but you can do whatever you want, but this is, I just put 100 because that's what I want. And there's one more line that you need to do, and you just need to call a function when somebody actually touches the part. Right, so let's say script dot parent dot touch call on connect then we can call on touch function like this so when this part is touched this whole function will run alright so let's head into the game and test this out alright I'm in the game now so I'm going to stand this part and it's giving me that extra jump power like this so I'm just going to reset my character that's going to give me the normal jump power so the next thing that we need to do, would, and we're going to make it to this part, uh, gives you the default walk speed back, and jump power back. So you don't need to reset your character, you can just touch this part, gives you jump power, touch this part, and it'll, then it'll give you back to the original, which is 50. Alright, so let's get straight into that. Alright, so... Uh, instead of writing a new script, you can just copy this one and then drag it into this part here. Then all you need to do now is just change this to 50 because that's the default. Alright, so let's head back into the game and test this out again. Alright, I've loaded it the game now. So I'm going to jump up and, it's, and this is just the 50 jump power, the original. Then when I hit this part, it's going to give me the 100. Then when I hit this part, it's going to give me the default again. Alright, so this is going to be the end of today's video. So if today's scripting video helped and you want to see more videos like this in the future, then make sure you leave a like, subscribe and turn the bell on it, so then you'll be notified when that video comes out. Also remember to leave video suggestions in the comment section down below for a shout out on one more videos. So yeah, this is going to be it for now, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.